King video. Uh, before I get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Coin King here, guys. Uh, the Coin King 1980. Look at this. Over 1,430 subscribers. Um, notice a lot of people have been subscribing, even though I haven't been making a lot of content. But uh, I'm back. I'm back because I've been extremely busy with other tasks. Not because of, uh, you know, that I don't love crypto or making these videos. It's just I've been super busy doing some other project, you know, instead of just... Focusing on coin constantly, you know, I'm trying to improve myself in different area, right? Whether it's learning some other stuff like maybe programming or, you know, start, you know, try to do some business or something on the side. But at the same time, I'm still watching the crypto market, you know, as always. And uh, uh, I've never left the space. Everybody knows that, of course. And if you can see my channel here, be sure... Again, subscribe to the Coin King 1980 on YouTube. And as always, I'm not your financial advisor. Do your own research and due diligence um, before you invest in any crypto stocks or whatever is being discussed on this channels. So, um, yeah, welcome back again um, to to to. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell, I'm not reading no script because I'm real, right? I'm real, okay. I tell you like it is. I don't read the script. I'm like I'm like that Donald Trump basically, right? You don't give me a script to write or read or whatever, right? I just say whatever the hell I want. And that's how this crypto channel is. It's always been like that. Okay? So today is uh what is it? Today is uh, the third or fourth? Damn, I can't even keep up. I think today is the uh the October third. And as you know, let's take a look at the market right quick. Okay, I mean, Bitcoin is pushing 27.8. It's so much exciting stuff going on right now. I can feel the market about to turn around. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel Bitcoin going to 100,000 by the end of the year. I can feel, I can sense it. It's, it's like everything's so right right now. So maybe at the end of the year, I'm not, I'm not going to be too optimistic, all right? Just based on the history and based on what people are saying. And yeah, I'm not a chart reader. I'm not a TA and all that, right? But I'm predicting, and this is my prediction, 2024, 2025, it's going to be epic years. That's when millionaires are going to be made. A lot of millionaires are going to be made. If, if, if you actually participate and buy these super low value uh, crypto assets, right? Because the SEC is basically losing the war. I mean, the war, should I say? <laughs> uh, excuse my Asian accent. <laughs> but anyway, the SEC already lost uh, the war against um, XRP. We know that. Even yesterday, XRP, I mean, SEC tried to come after them again. And the judge basically say, hey, it's not security. Go away. So basically, uh, Coinbase is probably going to win the lawsuit. ETFs about to take place. Uh, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, ETF, and all that. Once all that is in place, man, I'm telling you, 2024, 2025, many, many millionaires going to be made between those years. And if a lot of folks are ignoring, you know, a lot of people, people want to buy, people want to fumu, all right? Fear of missing out. 24, 24, 2025 is fumu years, probably. Everybody's going to be like, oh my God, Bitcoin is 27,800. I don't want to buy that, but I'll buy it at ninety-eight thousand or hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. I'm like you, morons! How the hell are you going to be rich like that? Jesus! But it's always been like that since the inception of Bitcoin. What in two thousand eight? It was eight pennies. Bitcoin was eight pennies in two thousand eight. Now, if someone told you Bitcoin was eight pennies back in two thousand eight, and someone say, "Oh, I predict it's going to be twenty-eight thousand or sixty-nine thousand in twenty twenty or whatever," right? They probably laugh like you probably are well, you are you smoking crack? Same way with Ethereum, right? Ethereum twenty fifteen was fifteen pennies. Now it's sitting here at sixteen forty nine. It ran up to what five thousand the last run, and it's it, people think it's a tulip. It's a it's a scam. Oh my god, it's gonna it's gonna it's quite. I'm not gonna jump in, but yeah, when when Ethereum hit ten thousand dollars, when Ethereum hit a hundred thousand dollars, many gonna buy in, but many are not gonna make that much money. They're gonna look look back like, oh, I wish, I wish I got Ethereum sixteen hundred. Now it's uh, sitting at uh, twenty five thousand. Like, all right, whatever. 
But yeah, so I mean, you can really, like right now, we're still in the bear market, right? I mean, don't give me, you know, that's just that's just how it is. How do I know? I mean, it's common sense. I mean, just look at the market. Just zoom out of the entire crypto space. The top 100. I'm telling you, I'm not a financial advisor, but like a lot of even the top 100 or even, heck, the top 500 coins that's on CoinMarketCap or CoinGeico, you can just throw like a dart at them and not even do research or some of this damn thing. And then you just basically, you know, become super wealthy if you if you invest in the right amount of money. You know what I mean? Like if you have to buy something like a, a penny, like XRP, I'm not XRP, a, a Cardano was like two pennies for like two years. It ran up to almost $4. I mean, think about it. Two, two pennies to over $4 and... Uh, Cardano sitting at uh, you know what twenty six cents right now. It's still it's still you know considered to be uh, you know like you never see a two penny Cardano again, right? But you you you'll see a five to ten dollar Cardano. Now, it's not gonna be a lot of gain anymore, right? Not 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 when it was two pennies. You know, project like Rose, uh, you know, like ne Oasis Network sitting at three pennies. I mean, like it, it's just common sense if someone even just. Do a little research on Oasis that is sitting at at three penny, three or four pennies. That if you have a hundred thousand of them, right? Yeah, you probably need to invest about three or four grand in there. But that's that's still a lot. A lot of people say I don't have three or four grand, but that's fine. But if you buy it incrementally, right? You don't have to spend up front. If someone accumulate for the past what last year to two years to here, there are many people who probably have over a hundred thousand Oasis or uh, Rose Network, and when and many people are predicting it's gonna go to like four or five dollars, that's like five hundred grand or four hundred grand, right? That's crazy, right? And then people are not gonna buy rows at this price hardly. They're gonna be like, I'm scared. It's three or four pennies. It's a tulip. I can't deal with it. And then all of a sudden, now it's sitting at two, three dollars. Everybody want to jump in. I want rows. How many rows should I get? Uh, uh, Grandma, how many rows should I get, Granny? And then they go. Uh, they start telling it, all their brothers have Thanksgiving to buy rose at two, three dollars, and then it, it, the next bear market come, and then rose it sit down to fifty, sixty cents, and now the whole family's pissed at them. It's just a simple. But my point here is, you know, three to four cents rose, and then it's gonna run like probably three to four dollars average. Being conservative, speaking based on what they're doing, it's just I just you know, people don't think like that though. They just, they just, they just want, they, they prefer to fool in later on, you know what I mean? So anyway, this video, I'm not going to be talking about just specific coin, because and like I said, I'm just getting back into making video, but I'm just going by the, the whole state of the market. Now, I know friends of mine who's actually accumulated, I'm not going to say the name or anything, but he's going to be like multi-millionaires. I'm talking about like multi-millionaires, because he's been buying up these fear that many people are showing right now. You know what I mean? Some of these asset from near protocol sitting at a dollar. I mean, he's been like loading up on near, loading up on Moonbeam. You know, he knows who I'm talking about here, but <laughs> he's gonna be super, super rich, and he's probably don't have to work a day in his life. You know what I mean? Like he's basically when when the next bull market comes, it's basically he don't even have to work. I mean, he's already got his plan. He's he's pretty he's plan ahead on his you know on what he's doing. Um, but I myself, of course, I mean, here and there, you know, I don't, I, you know, I don't have as much money, of course, as, uh, my other friend, but, you know, I do buy it here and there whenever I can, you know what I mean? So it's not like, uh, I have a bunch of money just sitting there just like, I'm going to go buy a hundred thousand rows, you know, but if I do, I, if I could, I would actually, cause that's just a smart thing to do. Cause you can exit, you can exit rows at three or $4 and then like, that's, that's a massive gain. And I mean, I mean, just, just, just look at it, just. Browse through for a second. I mean, look at Solana back at twenty three. It was what nine ten dollars when the Sam Bankman Freed um uh destroy us all. <laughs> Should I say he destroy? He did. And then look at Tron. Tron. Look, Tron went to point zero zero eight. That's two zero eight, right? Before, right? And now it's running to nine cents. And Tron is burning a lot of their tokens and creating um. More value, so I think I think Tron has potential to hit a dollar. I mean, don't don't quote me on. I mean, don't try to think. Oh my God, Julian, you promised him a dollar. I've been. I, I'm a Tron holder. I have Tron. I, you know, I'm staking Tron, and you know, it's. I think I see it going to a dollar, probably more if they keep burning it every damn week. If Justin Sun and them, I think he's following CZ with Binance Coin. Remember Binance Coin when it was sitting at 
I think four or five dollars, and now Binance Coin is like two, three hundred dollars, and went ran up to eight hundred dollars. And you know, just in Sunday, he's probably more than likely following um, footstep of, of CZ. And a lot of people are using Tron or creating application on Tron uh, blockchain. So, and then look at this polka dot undervalued for. I think polka dot can go probably a hundred, two hundred dollars. Uh, still, it's not like. Still not a bad game. I mean, I love polka dot. I still have polka dot, you know. But uh, four dollars, it's kind of, it's kind of kind of stupid when it goes to hundred two hundred dollars, and I'm like, oh, it's four dollars. I'm, I'm just like, oh, but I don't want to buy polka dot. It's four dollars, you know. But uh, like I said, I don't have that lot of money to. I, I just, you know, I I would prefer get something a little bit lower. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I have, you know polka dot and i'm staking it so i'm just getting rewards from it so i don't know maybe if it dips some more i don't know because the market like i said it may be in the, in the process of surging back up i don't know it seemed that way so i mean look at this all this uh chain link avalanche at ten dollars you know avalanche when it ran to 160 when the market comes back of course it's probably going to go to 100 again and then look you got the uh what is all this uh H bar. Everybody, a lot of people I know have H bar, and it's it's trading at four penny. It's just like roast. These kind of stuff right here. If you have a hundred, think about it, right? If someone actually have a hundred thousand uh, H bar, that's not like around four forty eight hundred dollars. It's probably gonna go to a dollar easily, and then that's like a hundred grand. That's do the math, basic math. ICP sitting at three dollars. That's insane. Yeah. I remember when it came on the scene, it was like seven hundred dollars per uh, ICP. Now it's three bucks. Crow five cent, five cents. Crow is just like uh, you know they got their own blockchain, right? Um, just like Binance, sitting at five cents. I think Crow went as high as sixty, seventy cents on the last run, and I don't think it's seen a really, really true market run for for uh, Crow, and it seemed like a really, really good uh, project. Um, Hopefully, I mean, I, I just don't want to see anything like the uh, FTX crap. You know what's going on with 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 uh, with Crow, um, but it's still I don't know. It's it, it's risky, I guess. You know, but uh, then look, take a look at all the other rest here. You got V Chain sitting at a penny too. V Chain is one penny, guys. Oh shit! What oh one six? That's almost two pennies. And then Optimism at dollar thirty three. There's Near Protocol right here, a dollar ten. If I have enough money, I would actually load up on Near Protocol. I don't think I think Near Near Protocol is going to be massive in the next run. Then you got Cospa. Everybody talk about Cosca. I mean Cospa. Don't get me wrong, right? I think this is another dollar plus runner right here, Cospa. And you can come back to my video in 2024, 2025, and listen to this video. I don't have any Cospa guys, but I'm just letting you know that last time when it was like semi bull run, there were a lot of crypto projects that did almost 50 to 100 x. In a semi bull run, and a lot of people keep throwing all that stuff in my face. Oh my God, you got to get this! You got to get this coin. It's it's only th two three penny, and I just laugh at them. You know what it did? Fifty to hundred X on me. I didn't have none. So, <laughs> so Caspa more than likely probably the same scenario. Huge community, people pushing it, sitting at almost five pennies. You have a hundred thousand of these, easy hundred grand, hundred grand easily. Algorand at nine pennies. Look at this. So, I mean, like I said, you can go to, you know, the top 500, top 500 uh, coins for, uh, to, to invest in. I mean, these are, like I said, these are only the top 100 guys. These are the top 100. We're looking at the market cap at what, like 343 million. Like if you look for something with low market cap, like 5 million and then, it, and then, it go, it go to a one billion, that's like an easy, uh, the easiest uh, return on your money. Like I'm talking about, like uh, life changing kind of money. I would actually in my next video, I may actually just scoop up and just go to take a look at the top 500. But this is what my top 100 just looking at it right now, and just you know, wow, I actually haven't really been looking at it myself <laughs> but i'm just saying like the, these are just the top 100 and the lowest market cap is 343 million that's a uh, you know that's that's huge market cap already 
I like smaller park market cap, like five to ten million. That's the one I've been eyeing the most, and uh, and Rose is super high already too. But anyway, guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm talking too much. I'm losing my voice here. Um, subscribe to my channel. Like my videos. Until next time, all right? Peace.